hello how are you today so today we're gonna tackle the Unreal Engine the DAS 3D to Unreal Engine uh, bridge it's like a software that can transfer uh, 3D assets from the studio to Unreal Engine 5.1 or earlier also so uh, to be honest, this was a very frustrating process. It took me like three days to do it. Uh, not just the assets, mostly the characters. So there's a workflow that uh, you have to go through, and, and this is the one that I found most suitable and most uh, tutorials online. Yeah, it didn't work for for uh, Unreal Engine 5.1. Or not even for the prescribed uh, version of uh, on the engine uh, for some reason. So uh, let's uh, go through the easiest way. Let's see. So we're gonna open Epic Games Launcher. I'm recording on ultra wide, so trying to focus on the middle of the screen so here is the we're gonna start a new project what's this update available let's just forget that we're gonna first start with this update it uh, until we start with this is does 4.21 Let's go with uh, Gen. Now we're gonna check. Uh, so now let me discuss the first the installation of the extension and the bridge. The bridge can be downloaded from. Let's see here. I just uh, installed it uh, through purchasing it. It's free, but you have to install it. And I downloaded the DAS uh, Install Manager. You can also download the DAS Central, but uh, it, uh, honestly, they both of them are the same. Uh, the DAS Central is like. Uh, more streamlined it's slick and user interface for new users to get adapted to it and uh, does uh, install manager it's like for more advanced but basic features to be honest are the same the underlining uh, uh, code and functionality seems to be the same it's just like a repackaging mostly but uh, the uh, the good about install manager uh, it's that uh, it has uh, like uh, you can uh, customize the uh, folders and the um, stuff like that so it has more customizations so l let's just open it and see all right so you're gonna see like that it's installed it is, uh, to download it to install and installed as soon as you press this one and purchase uh, you're gonna see uh, a success page that tells you where you are, how you want to install it so you mostly gonna go the uh, install route of uh, the install manager you can select either this or the that central uh, I think uh, at first you have to like uh, sign in later on you can work in offline mode it's all right um, just uh, a couple of things you have to know for uh, IE uh, sorry for UE 5.1 uh, there's a hotfix at this page I will post it, uh, a link in the description uh, so this basically you have to download this one here then uh, just upload the I'll show you where so here's the Broken files, epic, extras. 
and you have to put them in engine plugins and it has to go here I'll show you how to uh, do it once we go into DAS but uh, the files here are we're gonna go to marketplace I think it's in marketplace so yeah that's to unreal you just have to uh, replace the, uh, some of the files you should just copy the this folder from the when you unzip uh, the DAS to unreal you're gonna see a similar one DAS to unreal you just copy and paste it here it will ask you to replace and say yes this will uh, apply the hotfix so let's go back to DAS when you install it you're gonna see this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial how to install it this is basically how to transfer from DAS to Unreal Engine 5.1 while preserving animations mostly there's two ways to allow animations for characters in Unreal Engine there's a way called uh, like um, animation retargeting when you can retarget uh, animations uh, that's uh, suited for Unreal Engine that's built in to Unreal Engine uh, and the other way is uh, importing the animations directly from DAS uh, uh, we're gonna work both ways and show you like the pros and cons of each it's gonna be quick hopefully so let's check once you install the plugin you're gonna see send to and you're gonna go to DAS to Unreal alright this is where you install you install the plugin so you install the plugin for DAS and that got installed and set up correctly but the second step is to select your engine you're gonna choose install plugin right here and you're gonna go to the same location so here's the location let me see all right put that all right i'm gonna install it uh, in here sorry just choose the plugin for the set okay. uh, correct so that's the first step uh, for any reason the plugin didn't work i suggest so because many people suggested that the one from on the bridge from the marketplace didn't work you can download it from github it's from a guy called david and he's very active uh, it's not easy task to uh, develop such a plugin you have to deal with textures animations the skeleton i'm not 3d expert to be honest this is my first uh, game in Unreal engine and i'm not uh, uh, it's, it's just a hobby I don't actually like, do this for work I'm a web developer uh, and have been for like uh, more than 15 years maybe 20 years even um, so this is my professional work in addition to other stuff uh, but uh, to be honest uh, he's done a good job but it's still tricky to do it the reason is uh, the there's like intricate stuff like if you forgot one tick box you're gonna uh, screw the whole thing that's the thing you, you just follow the tutorial so if you have issues with that it's worth trying the latest to the release on github I'll also load the link okay this is from the David website you just have to also just to paste the files I'll put it in the put ho this whole uh, uh folder in the plugins folder i showed you before the, this whole folder not the files inside it and the place any when it does pop up that's it in the next video i'm gonna show you how to import those characters into unreal along with animations stay tuned